Hey everybody, it's Jim here, and one of the most frequent misconceptions I see from people that are new to Fender Jazz Masters are thinking that the pickups that come stock on these things are really P90s, at least with the traditional versions of them. So in today's video, we're going to be comparing a set of Lindy Fallon stock Jazz Master pickups in this American Vintage 65 against these Lindy Fallon Steel Pole P90 pickups that are in the Hybrid 2 Jazz Master from Japan. And while I normally enjoy doing blind sound comparisons, in this video, we're not gonna be doing that. It wouldn't matter which guitar we chose. If we just wanted to switch the pickups and put both of the sets of pickups into one guitar, the difference would still be gigantic because the design of these pickups are completely different. So with that being said, I know that's not gonna make everybody happy and make it a true comparison. This is more of an example than a comparison of what you could expect from a P90 style pickup versus a traditional Jazzmaster style pickup. And the signal flow for today's video is going to be pretty simple actually this guitar into the Benson preamp for any drive sounds you're going to hear, into the Mesa Boogie Rectiverb 25, reverb will be provided from that specific amplifier, mic'd up by the Shure SM57, straight into our interface, which is the Focusrite 18i8, recorded into Pro Tools. So, let's hear how they sound.
I've had this American Vintage 65 Jazzmaster for over a decade at this point, and the only thing that I've never truly loved about it is the bridge pickup. After doing this comparison, I'm gonna get on the phone with Lindy Fralin because if I could take that bridge pickup and put it in here and have things work as far as the wiring goes because one thing you have to keep in mind with this comparison and in general when you're talking about p90s versus traditional jazz master setups here this has a one meg volume pop i feel that's way overkill for a p90 pickup something like a 500k i think would be the sweet spot this has a 250k so i actually think it sounded a little bit darker than i would have personally liked however i think the perfect marriage here if you're somebody that doesn't use the rhythm circuit very much why don't you have the bridge pickup wired to here with a 500k pot then the neck pickup going to the one meg pot you still get the glassy clean tones and then you get that middle position that is also amazing also you get that freaking killer drive that you're gonna get in that beef the one thing that these guitars just simply lack in my opinion and i know not everybody that plays a jazz master wants to sound like that but to me this is absolutely the way to go so if you're somebody who's looking for a much more aggressive tone out of your jazz master but you love the look of the stock pickups i'd highly recommend checking out the lindy freeland steel pulled pickups i love lindy freeland as a company as a brand everything they do and their products are just top notch they do not pay me but when i really believe in a company i don't need to be paid to tell you guys i mean i got them in like five guitars they're the absolute best great service they'll sit talk you through whatever project if you want if you give them a call and again just i can't recommend them enough because they just do things the right way in my book but that's all i have for you guys today leave me a comment let me know if the difference between these guitars was as big bigger or about what you thought it was going to be between a p90 style pickup and a true jazz master style pickup other than that leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next video take it easy everybody